Manoj, but I'm not a robot. <laughs> Every time, I, whenever I'm delivering a talk, people used to say, Manoj, are you really a robot or are you human now? Because from past, near about 8 to 10 years, I'm working in this field, so people are thinking I'm a robot. Okay, first of all, I'm impressed by the talks which the, my previous speakers have given up. That's really amazing talks. I mean, seriously, I will be choosing politics as a career and I will be brushing up my brain from <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is not my topic. So, my topic is not there at all because I am a kind of person who talks about so many things at one time. So, I got this opportunity to share with you. But first of all, I am really sorry. So many people were waiting for a robot to perform several tasks on the stage. And that was whole set for us. But unfortunately, incident happened, the robot fall down. The leg got broken up and we are repairing it. And I promise to you, I will be coming within some time to your college from my own things and I will be performing a full show for the whole day for all of you, okay? I'm sorry. So let's start with billions and change. This is not my thing, this is somebody else who is working on that. And the person, I don't know how many of you know about it, that's a crazy guy. He don't think he's a cool, but he's a cool person, but after the video, you will be knowing it, that he's a cool person. I think most people wouldn't know me. I'm Manoj Parga, the founder of 5-Hour Energy. This idea, this drink, in two months, we had it on shelves. When we hit a million bottles, I thought, that is great. And now it's a few million bottles a year. A little over a million bottles a day. 5-Hour Energy. Sales shut up 12%. Sold over a billion and a half bottles. 90% of the market share. He has cracked the Forbes billionaire list. I realized, oh my God, we're making a lot of money here and have no interest in lots of fancy stuff. What do I do with this? If you have wealth, it's a duty to help those who don't. It's just the right thing to do. You know he's trying to save the world, right? Yeah, well, that's happening over there. We're going to the invention shop, also known as Stage 2. It is the most well-funded playhouse for engineers you can possibly have. Our goal is to deliver products which can directly impact humanity. If you come up with something cool that's not useful, we don't do it. I have no interest. I don't want to be cool. I actually, I'm never going to be cool. <laughs> right now, I'm concentrating in three areas. Water, energy, and health. The drought has left its mark here. Some communities could soon run out of water entirely. China, India, Africa. Now there's a lot of places around the world there's a shortage of water. This is the rain project. We're able to take unusable seawater and turn it into drinking water in a matter of minutes. This machine can do a thousand gallons an hour. You create this barge which has a lot of units on it. Put it a couple miles offshore, pipe the fresh water to land. If you have thousands of barges throughout the world, we can address ridiculous amounts of people. This is our program we call Free Electric. The idea here is really simple. A person uses a hybrid bicycle. You pedal for an hour, and you have electricity for 24 hours. Billions of people. This will allow them to have unlimited energy, pollution-free. That's everything. Stage two works on medical devices. We're working on a project called Renew. It's a product that enhances circulation. You squeeze blood from the legs back into the core body, so it acts almost like an auxiliary heart. Poor circulation is the basis of a lot of illness. It's not about treating disease, it's about preventing disease. If you don't think through it, you just put up more hospitals. Now, we're also doing that. <laughs> There's an old story about a blind man heading towards a well, and there's a guy who's watching. If the blind man falls into the well, who gets the blame? If you're watching something that you can prevent, you gotta do something. We'd like to change the world, make it better. It's a great experience to be with someone that could probably do it. Manoj is driven by the fact that work is never done. The world can be changed. It takes a crusader. My approach is make a difference in other people's lives, not just talk about it. Let's do stuff. This project is going to drive me crazy. Are you already crazy <laughs> enough? What's it to do?
So guys, before meeting this person, I used to be like, man, I will make this robot for 20 days for competition and I will be winning up that and getting some money and name and fame for a few days. But what after that tw those 20 days, what I'm going to do? Nothing, I don't have anything in my hand. But when I presented my idea to him, he said, it's cool, but it's not useful for anyone. It's not going to create an impact in anyone's life. What to do with that? There is no use of it. So he rejected it, but he gave, gave me a good thing. When you have something with you, when you have some talent, or when you, use, sorry, I'm sorry, I don't work with the talent kind of thing because hard working is the criteria to achieve something. So he said, if you have some hard working skills with you, why not to go and do it? Why you're just watching it out every day and just making your coolest stuff? That's just for entertaining purposes. You are not an entertainment person. There are most Bollywood celebrities who are going to do that. So you just be keep aside from that. So that was the day I realized that there is a need of something called doing it up for the stuff for the other public. That is that needs me. I don't think so. It's working. So okay. yeah. So this after this presentation, I'm just going to ask you one question. I am useful. I am going to be entertaining for all of you. So might be this question is going to come out. Uh, like this answer is going to come out after my talk. Okay. Next slide, please. I guess. Uh, Center for Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. So I'm working in this as a head and I'm just representing it all over this like country. So I'm just traveling a lot of it. So I will tell you something about it. This is a center where we just make it a proof of concept for everyone. We just don't keep it like, okay, just make it out for this competition. We just make it out to reach out to a new height, new level where we can give the potential to a student, not only to the person who is just having a willing, just like having something just to enhance the skills. Like I would like to call Rohan on the stage regarding this. Rohan, come on the stage. So Rohan is a guy, like he is there with me from past one year. And I don't think so anybody is there. Uh, how many of you are engineers? So, doing engineering, not an engineer. Okay. <laughs> okay, I want to ask one question. Finish up a project in one day. Like how many projects you can finish up in one day or one night? Any number? Rohan can finish up eight projects in one night. He will not be available for the next day, but yeah, he will be able to finish up the eight projects, broken projects I'm telling you. And I think so, In my, from my side I say, we need more kind of Rohan kind of personalities who can do up a work, make it or break it. That should be the rule. It should not be like doing a research from 45 years and getting a single page only. Why not to move more, more, make it more practical things? Why not to make it out a change in someone's life? He made out a bionic arm which is for the disabled people and we are testing out with the Ames hospital. We have given it to a person who was not having an arm from like birth only. So we gave it to him and today he is just like working and trying it out to work it out more perfectly. And the day when we de delivered this arm to him that he was crying. Because naturally a good feeling comes out with the eyes only. That was the day. We so. Thank you so much. The, that's like, I just mean said ask him to travel with me. So at least this is a good motivation for every engineer because he's also an engineer. He don't want to do engineering, but unfortunately, unfortunately, he came to me and now things are working well with us. Okay, thank you. Play the video. One second. Uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. This is the 2012 TED video in Paris, TEDx video in Paris about to do over here on this stage. I will show you that what I have done on that stage in Paris. I was when the who did the coding for it. it might be this is going to this is going to be an idea for all of you what you can do in the future.
Did you all got the idea what I was about to do on the stage if I have got my robot done over here? So that would have been blasting for all of all of you. So I will say like how many of you want to have innovations in their life? How many want to create something new or how many of you want to create some impact in anyone's else life? Uh, but I have to choose one paper person so that talk with me. Anyone come on the stage like volunteer service it says. Come, come. Join me. Can I play the next slide? Yes. What is your good name? Sai Prasad. This is Manoj Chaudhary. Okay, nice meeting you. So I want to know that what kind of innovation you are doing in, li in someone's life. Mini bots. Okay, so see, wh whenever you are making something, what like what exactly how you started up? Okay, uh, I'm really sorry to say when, when a kind of people like trying to come out with some kind of cool ideas or kind of useful products, but the problem they face is up like how to start up any kind of thing, how to think outside the box, how to have like a thinking that how to make out this thing properly. So I just gave it a thought that why not to just tell everyone that I'm having my initiative freedom to innovate where like you, like you, like anyone can come out and I will be just like checking out the potential of the project and I will be funding them according to that because Bloomberg is, I am a technical advice for, advisor for Bloomberg Technologies. Review magazine, it is in a TV also, TV show. So I will be providing a platform to everyone, everyone in this room. So it's just an initiative taken from our side, freedom to innovate. You can come down with the ideas, write it down or just to me. If I see a potential and if I see that's going to be work it out, we are going to provide you funding and you are going to represent yourself at every stage. And every platform you get a chance to just do some kind of new work. Some kind of challenges which you want to solve by yourself only. Not not given by us. You are not going to represent us anyway. So feel free to contact me at any time. That's what my initiative is going to work out. And before making out any project, we need to find out. Is there market research? Is there a things are going to happen? Is it going to work it out feasible? It's really going to work it or not. So feasibility we have to look after. And because ideas cannot be in air. It should be on paper. Okay, so hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I would like to thank everyone just to listen to me. And last and but not the least, I will say thank you to TEDx over here and MIT Media Labs where I have been doing research from the past. And I will be, I am working with the Niti Ayog also recently because of the technical, I am playing a technical advisory role at that place. So anybody looking for startup kind of thing of funding, I will be there to help them out at any moment. So. Feel free to contact me and my question was there, useful or entertaining? Uh, thank you so much. The voice is not clear from everyone's side. Okay, so you want to see that robot in the future? Yeah, surely I will be. I'm really sorry for that. Okay, thank you so much. Manoj Chaudhary from this side.